much, everyone, for joining us on this wonderful Sunday. Um, so before I get going, I'm just going to mention a few things that you're going to need, and I'll give you a quick moment to go grab those things. So first and foremost, grab yourself a glass of wine. And if you do not have one, grab some tea or something, which is something to make you comfortable. Put some music on that you can jam to and just follow the melodies as you paint. And then another important thing that you're going to need is a jar with some water in. All right, I'm just gonna, oh, there we go, um, to rinse your brush on. And what really helps is either a lappy or um, uh, you can also use a serviette or whatever it may be just to clean your brush on because the it's very important to actually clean your brush in between your colors. Um, otherwise, your paint tends to get quite murky and it all goes a little brown at the end of the day and we don't want that. Okay, so while you're grabbing that, putting some music on, I am going to start opening up my um, box over here. And I'm just going to make sure you all can see the screen that I'm sharing. And um, yeah, so if there's anything that you'd like not seeing, please go ahead, ask us. We can help you in the chat if there's something on your settings. So I've got a really nice setting here in front of me where I can see the painting area as my main screen. And there's a, like a little row, there's a list of all of you guys on the side. So I can kind of like scroll down and see what you're doing. So anyway, okay, so without further ado, we can start opening up our boxes. We do have one question apparently by Ooh. Kristen who says, do we need to prep our canvas? Um, usually I do prep canvases beforehand, but um, we are kind of going to use our first step where we place the paint, um, as you can see on our first step over here in your little booklet. Um, we just kind of like cover our canvas already in quite a bit of paint and that gives it also kind of like a prep. So um, that's prep enough for today. But if you have prepped your canvas, that's actually lovely. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna open up the box over here. And what I'm also gonna do is I usually use the box as a, um, kind of like as a, instead of using um, newspaper or whatever down on my table to stop me from, you know, like getting my table full of paint. So there we go. We've got our lovely canvas there. And I'm just trying to open this box here. <laughs> it's, not, it's not as easy as it looks, guys. Okay, there we go. It's perfect. It's nicely getting... packaged for delivery. Yes, very well packaged. <laughs> Aha! Okay. So, there we go. Um, Alex, will it actually be okay if I don't? Is it? Yes, absolutely. Okay, no, so fine. you can paint fun. on top of this, or I'm actually just not going to. I'm going to use this tissue paper that's also come in my box. And we'll just put that down there. How are you? You cool. And I'm you. good. You can, you can actually put that. Okay, we've got all of our paints that I'm going to go through now in a bit. Um, and then you have your cute little apron that you can put on. So maybe some of you have, have this apron in your box, but if you were fancy like me, you have your own little paint and sip apron. I'm going to put that there so you can see that. Isn't that cute? Okay, great. So go order yourself a little <laughs> sweet paint and sip apron and yes let's get going all right so oh, another thing that you'll probably need is a palette as well so i brought some examples this works really well for a palette it's those little veggie polystyrene bits that you get what i've also done is i've taken a cardboard box and i've just wrapped clean paper ugh, like clean plastic around it and I'm using a, like a plastic thing that I found. There we go. Alex is just using a random plastic thing <laughs> or you can use like a like a paint and soap palette. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Alright, so we've got our water, we've got our paint brushes, we've got our palettes and I think we are ready to rumble. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, so just to um, make it clear to myself that I am not the only person 
in this in this world. Can everyone quickly do me a favor and just put their mics on for one moment, okay? And I'm going to count until three, but I need to see your mics going, like, put yourself off mute. All right, I'm going to count until three, and in your most southern American accent, we're all going to say, express yourself. So we need to do that on the count of three. All right, and here we go. One, two, three. Express, Express yourself. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I feel less alone now, and now we can go ahead. All right. So we've got a like a big canvas here, and we have your. You should have in front of you your white paint, and you can just start opening up your paints. So that they're ready to, we're ready to dive into them. Then we have a beautiful blue, dark blue paint over here, and some yellow. And then you will have two paints that look similar, but if you hold them close to each other, you can actually see that the one is a little bit more pinky than the other one. So from now on, this one I'll be referring to as red, the one that is more permanent red, and this more pinky color is called rose so we're going to use a lot more rose than red so if you're afraid that you're going to get confused between the two I would say just put the red aside and keep it closed um, but if you want to use some of that in your painting you can as well so I'm for now going to put that aside and not even open that one and just for now open the rose one all right and then very important for inside your box, you also got this little pamphlet that takes you through the steps, step by step, and explains what to do. So if at any point you feel like you just want to go ahead and do your own thing, feel free. Or if you feel like you maybe missed a point, so in here I also say how I mix the colors and so on. So maybe if you miss something like that, you can check it out in your pamphlet. But also, if it's something, um, that, oh, another question that you might have, even if you missed it somewhere in here, you can just, once again, ask me in the chat box or even just unmute yourself and say, Hawkeye Lily, and <laughs> slow down, and um, yeah, and I'll help you out. Okay, so there we go. Are you guys ready to start painting? Cool. So, um, I would like you to now mix a nice um, I'm gonna use this palette for this color we're gonna mix some light blue so also um, yeah Lily so we just got a quick question from Kirsten yes I see that raise your hand feel free to just come off mute and yeah this is a very collaborative space and it's safe so please reach out with any questions cool thank so, you so um, I'm really excited but I, I have a slightly bigger canvas than the one in in our packs yeah, I just wanted to know um, the shade of blue that we're using. Um, if I wanted to, obviously, like my, my bigger canvas might require more paint. Um, do you know the name of the shade of blue? Would it be closer to like phthalo blue or cobalt blue or cyan? It'll it'll be closer to ultramarine ultramarine blue. Okay. Yeah, we just heard it's from the, Lauren who packs the boxes. It's the phthalo blue. Hello. Uh, Hello. Sorry, my. And colors are, are lacking. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Thank you so much. That's that's great. I do have more of that color. Awesome. Okay. Wonderful. Cool stuff. Okay. So um, yeah. Now we're just gonna um start adding some blue. So we are, as I mentioned here in our little step, two blues with one white. So no matter how big your blob blue is, as long as you put two of that size in there, one. Two and the same amount, but one with your white. Please remember in between working with your colors to rinse your brush and there we go. And clean that on your luppy so that it doesn't get inside of your paint over there. All right, so and then one white, and I'm just going to mix that in. Okay, so this is a little bit darker, and I think I can add a little bit more white. Um, so, and I'm actually going to add a bit of yellow into this as well. Guys, I'm sorry, I tend to do little extra things when I'm teaching classes 
because it depends on my mood. So you don't have to do this, but I'm going to add a drop of yellow. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> but add a drop of yellow into my blue um, and just mix that in to make it more of a sea greeny color. Um, and there we go. So I'm going to just start placing this in different directions. Please do not go from one side to the other side the way you would paint a wall. We are not painting walls, we are painting canvases. Mm -hmm. All right, so in different directions, up and down and sideways. And while your paint is actually still wet, you can grab some white paint. I'm gonna grab another brush, but you can just rinse your other brush. You can grab some white paint and just crisscross that as well. All right, so while we're doing this, we're actually grabbing quite a bit of paint and getting that onto our canvas, which puts an extra layer on it and kind of like helps us just to prick the canvas and let it not suck up all of the paint that's going in there. So that's why I always say we need to cover our entire canvas with our first layer. Okay, so that's just what we're doing up and down. And move to your music, whatever it may be. I think earlier someone was playing Boy and His Kite, and I just love them. So if you want to play that for us, you can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and just go in different directions with your blues. So also, do you see how dark my color is when I just place it on my canvas? But then when I grab with my other brush, some white and I just mix that into that we get a much lighter color there okay and at this point you can pretty much actually decide if you want your background to be blue maybe you think it's too blue and you're not too fond of blue and you want to add more yellow into it and make it more greeny that's cool too. So um, what works really well is if you're making it blue and most of your lion, I'm just going to show you guys here, most of your lion is orange. That tends to make it pop because um, when you put blue and orange together, it brings it brings each other out. Um, so And that's, that's the point where we're going here. But if you're making like a purple lion, go more yellow in your background, you know. So <laughs> you can mix it up as you like. I'm not here to give you any rules, but if you have a certain plan in your head and you really want it to come out the way that um, it is here on my side, you can just stick to what I'm doing. All right, so there we go. Our background is painted. And now you just want to make sure you're rinsing your brushes and getting them clean. And while you're still doing that, I'm just going to, it's getting quite hot in here. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> uh, so I'm just going to take my jacket off for a moment, but I'll give you still some time just to, to finish your background. So my background is a little bit more turquoise. Okay. Oh, that's lovely. A nice color. Oh, that's beautiful. Like I oh, I love that. I mean, this is like my brain, my <gasps> canvas. That's fantastic. <laughs> awesome stuff. Okay. I'm just going to, sorry. Okay, remember to take a sip like a wine. Because <laughs> Alex always says, the more you sip, the better you paint. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, so remember to rinse your rinse, rinse, to rinse your brushes <laughs> um, in between your colours. So we're just doing that. And then using a luppy to wipe them clean and make sure all of that colour is out of it.
Okay, and now we're going to move on to placing our lion. So don't get stressed out. I'm going to mention this a few times. So if you're still painting the background, go ahead. Um, you want to be painting a background with your biggest brush, <laughs> just by the way. Mm -hmm. So the bigger spaces you have to paint, the bigger brush needs to go. And the smaller spaces you paint, the smaller brush you need to use. So I'm just going to set this aside to dry while I quickly explain something to you guys. Right. Um, you will see there in your first step that um, I've drawn the outlines of the line. If you can find yourself a pen or a pencil, this will really help you make your life much easier. We are going to split that square into four. Okay, so I'm pulling a line straight through in the middle and then straight through again. So then we have four quarters, yeah, quarter. <laughs> like that okay what's wonderful about this now you can actually see where the line is placed so can you see that it is not even coming close to the middle you know most of it is on your right hand side of your canvas when we're looking at the lion's face okay and what you can even do to make it a bit more easier for you to see is you can pull Another four lines down there, split your top one. And if you want to split your bottom one, but I would just, yeah, okay, let's do it. <laughs> and split our bottom one like that. Okay, what we're seeing now is that the eye sits just below that bottom cross, and that line in the middle goes, I'm going to lift it up so you guys can see better. Ooh, ooh. All right, there we go. Hold on. Aha. Okay. So this little um, cross in the top right-hand corner, the eye is just below the cross point. Okay. And that line goes straight through the middle of it. And just on the side here is where we're going to put the, the cheekbone of the lion. All right. And then his nose is just below, starts on that middle line that we've drawn. Okay, and it just goes down there and straight in the corner there, and then it, in that cross it just turns over like that. And then in this bottom right square is his bearded area. Okay, so I've just spoken you through this. We are now gonna do this. I'm even gonna actually pull these lines on my canvas and I'd like you to do the same if you are worried about your proportions of your lion okay so um, it's just gonna make our lives much easier cool stuff all right can I get a hoo-ha if everyone's done with their background yeah, just finished. Hoo -ha. Oh, there we go <laughs> cool stuff or you guys can give me a thumbs up if you're ready, then I can quickly scan through. There's a thumbs up. Thank you, Amy. And how do I go down? Um, there's a little arrow there. Can you see it? Right at the bottom. At the bottom of the... Let me see what you see. I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, try the... Go to the top there with all the little... Um, on the right. Yeah. All those little, little blocks there. Oh, yeah, there. Like that. Go down your bed. Try to scroll. Oh, anyway, it's fine. That is interesting. Okay, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> Stevie, you're gonna you're gonna have to check if everyone's thumbs are up, and then just let me I know. Also check. Oh, well, Alex, there so we go. The people that they're seeing are who is coming up. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. Thumbs I understand. Up. Okay. Thumbs up. I okay. Them as well. <laughs> okay, all good. Thumbs up. Yes. Yay. Okay. Cool stuff. If you um no not if you want we're all gonna do this because it's fun um you're just gonna grab your canvas now all right and you're gonna give it a bit of a wave and you're just gonna jam it out to your sound yeah wavy 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 <laughs> okay <laughs> um and just. Give it a, it a bit of a shake to help it dry. And if it's if you 
got like too much paint on it, I would actually grab another brush and just pick up some of that paint. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to use my white paint to make that um, those lines going straight through our canvas to make our lives easier and to see where this lion's head is going to end up in. Okay, so we're starting kind of, you can kind of guess it. I think mine's about like, yeah, there's the middle. Okay, do you see I'm just kind of like finding it like that. Alright, there's my middle. Ding, 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 ding. There's the other middle. Alright. Anyway. Lily, just a quick question. Um, which brush should we use for the outline? Oh, um, your, I would, yeah, I would use your medium brush or even your smaller brush. So I'm using my medium one. Good question. Thank you. All right. So now I'm just going and I'm pulling a line straight through. A ding a ding. Okay. I hope you guys can see that. Oh, yeah. And then one going down. It's all right if your background is still a little bit wet. It will probably be, it doesn't matter too much. Um, your lines just won't be as clear. And remember, at the end, we're just going to paint these lines away. Okay. So, um, our top one, I'm also going to actually pull. So, now we've got that. Let's make this a different color. Okay. Our <laughs> top one, I'm going to just mix some lighter yellow. So I'm just going to grab some yellow with that white brush of mine and that's just going to make it a bit of a lighter yellow. And the reason why I'm just making these different colors is so that it's easier for me to explain. You can definitely make these lines white as well. Um, yeah, I can then now just refer to the yellow block or the, I think the bottom one we can do like a pink block <laughs> and then you'll know where I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. Make it very easy, nice. Yeah. Good so yeah. <laughs> not just a pretty face. Okay, not just a pretty face. <laughs> I actually know what I'm doing. Alright. <laughs> so <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. So then you can just grab some of your rows and I'm just also like mixing it in there. Um okay. And then you can also split your bottom square into fours. Alright. And really guys, I'm very serious to make your life even better. Please go onto your um, steps and just pull those lines in. Even if you don't have a um, pen, just like pull it in with some paint, you know. Um, like that ding 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 ding. Alright, because it's gonna make your life easier to be able to see where all these lines actually sit. Okay, cool stuff. Oh, for um, everyone, <laughs> I've decided to remove the ear. Okay, and so I'm just gonna grab that and, and do that. So we are taking the ear out. The reason is, if you really look at the proportion of this line, its ear shouldn't be sitting there. Its ear should actually be sitting here and it's off of the canvas. So please learn from my mistakes. And um, yeah, because that's what we do as artists. We, we create and we do things and then we learn from what we've created. So um, yeah, the ear doesn't look bad, but I'm not gonna put it in because um, it just throws my proportion off a bit. Okay, what you will be needing now is mixing a dark blue or a dark purple. So what I just do is I grab my blue as is, all right, and I just, I can mix that into my rose that I have here already. Okay, so that's still a little bit blue, so I'm just grabbing some more rose. So it's supposed to be the same amount of rose and the same amount of blue. And then you'll get a really, really nice dark purpley blue. Oh yeah. All right. I don't know if you can see. There we go. Okay. So we're just using this to create the outlines that we are going to stick into with our line. All right. And check out your steps. So 
Firstly, we are going to start with the nose. And the nose will be in our pink, if you look at your pink, that's your bottom block. Okay, it the nose actually starts here in the middle of that um, line at the top there, so our middle line, and over there. So if I'm looking just at this block, it's in the middle of that line. Cool, and that's where it's going to start, and it's actually going to curve down to the middle on this side. So what you can do is you can just give yourself two dots, one dot there and one dot there. And before I pull them together, I'm just going to make double sure that everyone is okay for me to start moving on to the, the lines of the lion. Any objections? Speak now or forever hold your peace. Take a sip of wine. <laughs> Hi, sorry, question from me. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, yes. I was oh, no. busy painting my grid still. What color did you mix? So in the grid, uh, with the uh, you want to know what color is this? Blue color. Yes. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So what I did is I took one blob of blue, all right, and one blob of rose, and I just mixed them together to create a nice dark, like purpley blue. Okay. Thanks. Cool stuff. All right. So I'm just going to give everyone a moment to get that color and then we can start placing our lion. After we've placed our lion, most of the hard work is done. We're just going to play a little bit after that because basically the rest of it is just like adding mains um, to a main, it's not mains, main on the line, adding the lion's mane. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Everyone, you probably realize I'm Afrikaans. <laughs> Steal a spot of your rose. Yes, please. There we Thank go. You. We've got all the other colors, just not that one. Okay, great. Take a big scoop. Okay, so um, now we're ready. So, what in that line? So, we've got a little pink block there, and then the top pink block in the middle of that top line, we're just putting a dot, oops, and in the side of that line, we're putting a dot, oops. Okay, and now you want to actually curve that together. So you're going down in kind of an L shape, so you're starting, but instead of going, well, yeah, instead of going straight with your L, you are going to go a little bit skewed down like that. Okay, so that's not a 90 degree line, it is slightly angled, um, going a little bit lower. And then when you've done that, you're just going to put a curve in there. Oops. Okay, so it's a little nose of the lion. All right, and you can even curve it a little bit more if you like. All right, so we've got that line down, and now we are gonna make a bit of a, mm, okay, yeah, line just going down here. So all the way nearly to the end of that bottom line and the pink line. Now, I would like you guys still using your medium brush and your dark blue purpley color. Um, I want you to put in the curve that's going around here. But please note that you see on the lion's face, all right, over here, it goes also at an angle. And you can even measure that angle on your um, reference or... Um, yeah, um, on, on the computer, wherever you like, you can just pull it up and see, okay, cool, that's the angle that it's going to be at. So, we are pulling a line all the way to the side of this pink. All right, ding, 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 ding. There we pull a line. Okay, and that kind of looks like a wine glass. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to explain that again. What I've done is I've done a dot boom in the middle of my top line in my top pink corner okay and then in the middle on the side there and then I've pulled an L which bottom line is not 90 degrees but a little bit slanted to the bottom then we've curved in the nose and then we've just gone straight down and when we got to that corner 
we've pulled at an angle over there. So you can see that this space over here creates that triangle. Okay, so you can just measure that out. It's okay if it's a little bit more slanted to the bottom or a little bit slanted up. That won't mess around with your, your proportion much. Okay, I am going to continue. Any objection? Anyone that wants me to just explain that again? And, and so it doesn't look like that. There we go. Look at Alex. Who else can show me the painting? Look at that, that's very nice. Awesome yes. stuff. Can you take a look and see here? There we go. Alright, cool stuff. So now we're gonna move over and we're gonna do a slight curve. Just going, and I mean it's kind of like one, two, three, four, five, six. If I had to split my square into six bits, ding 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 ding. ding so I can fit in one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so it's not far. You don't have to do all of those dots. It was just to show you guys. Um, so it's a, not a big space. It's nearly as wide as my pinky. All right, and my pinky is tiny. Okay, so <laughs> we can then just curve that up over there. All right, and then. We are, if, if you look, look at your reference, it curves quite straight up. So we're just going to curve that one in there. And just in line with the nose here. So there where your nose, or the darkness of your nose starts, we're going to go in line there. You can even give yourself a little dot there. And we're going to be curving it up to there. Cool. See, it's already looking like a line. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> now you curve all the way going up ding 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 so there's about one space like my finger can fit in that space over there all right and we've curved to that line do you see I've only worked in my pink corner at the moment and mostly on the right side of my pink corner okay now we're gonna start moving up into our yellow corner so in about the middle, yeah, make a dot in the middle of your left bottom yellow corner. Okay, right in the middle, boom. And grab some more paint, make sure there's paint on your brush. And we're going to pull from this little corner over here where we stopped. Remember, we first stopped here and then we went to that side. Now we're going back, okay, so it's still below our middle line. And we are just going to pull a straight line going up there. Boom. Ha-ha. All right. And I'm just going to curve this a little bit more. There we go. Cool. So now we, our line is just starting to, make, it's to take some shape. Can you see now that there's a space left where you can actually place your eye? Okay. And that's what we're going to do here. So where this... Um, if you look on your reference, so my um, cheek line is a bit further away, but that's all right. Um, we are going to now look at that eye. Do you see the eye is nearly touching this middle line of my yellow block? Okay, so I'm going to just below that, and it's actually crossing. Just going to hold it up so you guys can see. It's crossing through the eye. All right, so. Um, also, one thing to note, I'm going to quickly show you what not to do, alright, here, the eye is slightly um, turning or at an angle going down, the eye, it does not like, look like a human eye like that, okay, so if I pull a line through the eye, it's not straight, it goes at an angle, so let's actually put in that line first, alright, so if we look here, First, I'd like you to pull a line and the same amount um, that's on the one side of the yellow needs to be on the other side of the yellow. Okay, so if you've pulled a line straight through there, then you'll also see that that should, if you pull a line just going down there, it should kind of meet up with that one. Alright, cool. Now we're going to place our eye. 
So we've got that dot and we've got that dot. Now we just need to bring them together. And we're curving up here and ending down there. That's our first little loop. And then one going down. There we go. For our second little loop. All right. And now we are just like nearly done. This is great. We're just going to add our lion's beard. Okay. Important. Don't add the lion's beard further than his cheek that's coming out here. Okay. We want it to be a little bit more in. So for me, it's about one finger, depending on the size of your canvas. But I would leave a little bit of a space and you can even make a dot for yourself. And then just let his beard kind of run off here. Okay, so once again, we're going to make it curve quite a bit. And then you can just add his beard in there. Cool stuff. And there you have your lion face. Very important. Is everyone happy and okay up until this point? Because this is the main part of the whole thing. The rest is just filling in the spaces and playing around. I'm finding it tricky because I'm trying to look at what you're doing backwards. So I'm trying to get it to flip in my brain. Oh. <laughs> like, no, but I mean, that's, 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 that's me. <laughs> but you got it here. At least I do like have it. it. Exactly. Yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to add a step because we've taken out the, the ear. I'm actually just going to put a line in here. All right. So in your top um, yellow block, your left top block of your yellow blocks. I'm just going to curve around here like that. Okay. That will just give us an idea of how our strokes need to go. And so if you look here, you see these strokes are still part of his face. And that's quite important. Okay. So we've got that done. I've put a bit of a curve in there. You can even let it link up to that if you like. And voila, you've got your lion face. And the last thing we just need to add to him is his eyeball. Uh, his, uh, his, his pupil. Okay. So what you want to do with his pupil, you don't want to now fill in this entire eye like a human's eye. No, 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 no. You just want to add in a top pupil like that. So you'll see that it can be straight here in the middle where that yellow line is, right in the middle there, and just a little bit of it can go over that diagonal line that you've pulled through through um, the lion's eye, and you can slightly let it just move more to your right hand side. Okay, and there we have our lion's eye, and you can even, if you just want to accentuate this top line a little bit more, to go all the way because that's also quite characteristic of a lion is that line going down there voila okay that's looking like a lion it is actually yeah there we go amazing okay so remember i said we are kicking out the ear boom gone with you no ears in this picture <laughs> okay now get ready for the fun stuff i would like you to mix so, um, actually, let's stick to this color for now because we're still using it. With your, still your medium brush, or even if you, if your bigger brush isn't like gigantic, you can use it too. We are going to start putting in the um, mane of our line, okay? And the idea, the reason why we're going to start with this darker color is to give it that shadow on the side of the face, all right? So, and if you see on your step two over there, there's a lot of this color that we are going to put in. And what I'd like you to remember is that their mane tends to mostly go to the side and a little bit coming down, you know, because it's still gravity pulling it down. So not much of the mane goes straight up, but it's kind of got like that sun ray effect um, with a bit of a droop. So you'll see it now. So if I can help you, it's going to possibly be lines like I'm just going to put a few lines guiding lines in all right so that's kind of how the mane is gonna go out and you can do that for yourself so you know in which direction you're working okay 
And now's the fun part. So I want you to put some music on that's like jamming you out, and then you can just like na 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 curvy curvy curvy. <laughs> Couldn't think of a song. <laughs> and you see, I'm just curving it out and into the sides. And you can decide how curly you want your mane to be or how straight. Like, you just go ahead. And as you get closer to the face, you add a, a few more darker shades of that one that we've mixed. And on the side here, you can really go nice and dark. And please paint over your lines that you've put in. Okay, I need to mix some more. So for those of you that need to do the same, one blob of blue, one blob of rose, and we mix it together like that. Mine's a little bit blue, but it's fine. And we're just going to curve it out here. There we go. A ding, a ding. And there, it's already really looking like a line. I think you're doing a good job and so note that over here it's actually like coming a bit into my um, lines head but like these straight little lines going straight up okay and then we can curve them out put a few in there and really just have fun with this okay because what's nice about this it's our first layer and if you feel you've made a mistake or you did a mark that you didn't like you can just paint over it. That's what's so absolutely fantastic about acrylic is it dries and you can just paint over it. I love it. All right. There we go. Ding a ding. Cool. Looking like a lion. It's looking incredible. Hey. Can I wow. see yours, Alex? So I haven't started my, um, my mane, but you can see my face. There we go. My lion face. That's lovely. I can see the line. But you need to still put your beard in. I still need to put my beard in. Okay, sorry. So I'm moving a bit fast. Yes. Is there um, anyone else that would like to show me their painting? Or ask any yeah, questions? I'd love to see what other people's painting Hey, Amy. Wow, Amy also looks lovely. Amazing. Wow, he's got a really good face. Yeah. Oh, there's Wendy. Ah, oh, rocking it. Very good, very good. Oh, no, I have FOMO. Where's Wendy? Where's Wendy? <laughs> <laughs> awesome stuff. I'm not used to working on this. Looks like it's got mumps. <laughs> mumps? <laughs> Why? Oh, <my>. What <laughs> area? You can actually show me and I can help you. Oh, do you think, yeah. Yeah, you think that's a bit far? So all you can, you need to do Maybe is... Maybe I just need to put in more May. Yeah, I would just... In that area on the on the um, on his cheek, because yours is just going a little bit far out. So I just pull a line there and put some more mane in. Okay. So it'll, it's right. a, it's an easy fix. He looks like <laughs> he's like so content. <laughs> he's content like. Yes. Very happy. Yeah, yeah. Very chilled. Very chilled. <laughs> okay. Um. Do you need a genie? I just have to, I'm My canvas is a little bigger, so it's taking me some time. Okay, no, that's completely fine. Give me a. Uh, do you want to show me? Yeah. Mm. Wait. Oh, amazing. Yes, that is huge. But wonderful. No, <laughs> you're, you're, good. you're quicker than Alex, and Alex's canvas is smaller than mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really taking my time. <laughs> uh, no, it's looking very good, Kirsten. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm just quickly going to um, go through the curves again. Move. There we go. Okay, so what I did, firstly, I pulled a few lines just going down because we don't want our lines mains standing upright, you know. So they don't really go out to the side much. There's a slight drop in the mane. And when it gets to the side of the eye, it tends to move a little bit more up. Okay, so from the eye, your angle of your mane, even though it's curling, it's still curling a bit down. So that would be the angle, and that would be the angle, and that would be the angle. They're not completely going to the side. Only at this point, in line with my eye, they start going outwards, and then a little bit upwards from there. 
Okay, so I'm going to let you do a few more curves. You can even add a few rose curves if you like. I'm quickly just going to excuse myself. Um, I'm just running to the loo, but I will be back in two seconds. Hey everyone, your artworks are looking absolutely amazing. Um, just while we have a quick moment and we give Lily some well-deserved bathroom break, I just want to inform you guys that Call to Care is running an incredible initiative at the moment. Um, on Heritage Day, which is the 24th of September, we are hosting a street store, which is basically um, a little kind of shop outside in town along the side of the road where the homeless can come and pick up clothing, blankets, beanies, um, suits, anything that they might need in a really dignified way, which might be a first for a lot of these people. Um, you know, a lot of them have to wait for handouts or run through bins to find anything warm. So we really want to do this um, really fun, cool day for them and help them find what they need. And we really need your help with this. We are looking for clothing donations as well as blanket donations. Anything that looks a bit ratty or you don't think fits you was maybe a bit last season or rummaging through hubby's uh, closet and you want to toss out that jersey that he loves, that you hate, please, we will take it all. From old suit pants and jackets, shoes, socks, your mismatched socks, when you can leave it from a partner that used to be in the cupboard and you're not sure if your washing machine's eating them, we want those socks. Black, white, long, short, doesn't matter. Put them in our donation boxes and we will find a happy pair of feet that really, really need them. So please check out our website. Um, we'll put in a link uh, in the chat bar. And we've got donation points in Belleville, in Century City, in Claremont, at Constantia Emporium, and more to come soon. So please, any old clothing and blankets, send them our way. Over to you, Lily. Awesome stuff. Lauren, that's such an amazing, amazing, amazing <laughs> initiative. I love it so much. Um, and yes, everyone, please get involved and check out all the wonderful things that Call to Care are doing. They're really making a difference in people's lives and changing the world one step at a time. So yeah, get involved. I've been to some of their outreaches and stuff and it's it's been really amazing to also just be a part and mean something um, to other people and just do your part in this world. Okay, so pay it forward, guys. Yay. Pay it forward. Pay it forward. Cool. So now you've got your um, darker shadows down, and now we're moving into some highlights and mid tones. So I'm just going to grab another palette because I tend to like overdo my palettes a little bit. Um, so now we're going to mix a lovely orange, and I'm still using my medium brush. Okay, so I've got one blob of. Yeah, no, I'm lying. Two blobs of yellow. A ding a ding. So when you're mixing colors, just a point in this. Yellow's pigment tends to be quite weak. So let's say when you're when you're adding, you want to lighten up a color, you're gonna have to add a lot more yellow to it. Let's say for instance, if you're mixing green, then you would add blue into it. So with blue, you can just add like a drop of blue and it's already darker. But to lighten up your green, you need to make it a lot more, you put a lot more yellow in it to actually lighten it up. Because its pigment isn't very strong. Just some random notes there. Okay, so we've got two um, blobs of yellow and one blob of red. Okay, so at this point, I'm now going to add in some of my red red and not my rose so rose is your pinky one and I'm just actually going to add some red to this also less is more with red because it's very very strong so I'm just going to put that on the side and mix it in little bit by little bit because I actually want my orange to be nice and light so I'm just going to grab that and I'm mixing in there we go okay so it's half a blob cool I don't want it any darker than this 
Um, there we go. And I'm even going to add some white to this. I know that on the steps I said um, it's only yellow and red, but please just give me another blob of white into that. So rinsing my brush. And there we go. Like that. Adding a blob, like a big blob of white. Da -da -da -da. Ah, looking good. Okay, that's what I want. I want a lovely lion color over here. Cool stuff. So now we are actually going to start filling in the face of our lion. All right. And we're going to work a little bit quick on this one. And the reason being is we're going to fill in our face with white, uh, with orange. And then as you see on your third step, while that orange is still wet, we are going to take some white and just add some strokes into that. And that's going to give it that, um, that like fur-like feeling, you know. Um, so then we're going to add little lines like that. And it's also going to leave the brush strokes coming through because that's what we want at the end of the day. All right. Can I so, ask a question? Oh, question. Yes, go ahead. So I kind of feel like, have you ever watched these fitness videos? Where it's always like the advanced and then there's the yes. moderate. <laughs> I feel like I'm that person that shows you how it's done easier. Okay. Thinking, I don't know why, but it's taken me a while. So, um, colors again? Mm. <laughs> just the mix of Definitely. Colors, Sorry, yeah. Okay, so just repeating those colors. Yes. I took two big blobs of yellow mm -hmm. and I added half a blob of red to mix orange and then I've added one blob of white. Okay, fantastic. Okay, oh, I can sure. even, let's do that. There's two yellow, okay, a little bit of blob of red and a blob of white. So then if you look over there, you guys can remember how to mix it in case it also um, tends to like finish before you fill in your whole face, then you can just mix it again. Okay, but at any moment, stop me and ask me how to mix the colors. Cool. The same amount of white as red? Um, no, less red than white. So you can okay. put like two, yeah, half a blob of red. And so only like a little bit because red's pigment is really, really strong. Strong. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we've got that lovely um, orange. And now we're just going to fill in our face. Okay. Once again, it's a bottom layer. As you guys can see, if I hold these two next to each other and you s look at that um, step three in your um, pamphlet, you'll see that it's not at all what the line looks like at the end. So it's just our bottom layer, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Just have fun at this point. Okay, so we're just going to fill it in. And there we go, filling in our line. Da -da 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 -da. What's a lion song? Does anyone have a lion song? <laughs> we, need, we need that um, Lion King song. Oh, um, is it what? Is it in the jungle? That one? I'm actually looking for another <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that one>. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Or a Hakuna Matata. <laughs> yes. Do you think that's too orange? Um, I quite like that colour. It's not the same as mine, but it's beautiful. Okay. Yes. Alright, I'm going with it. So Alex just showed me her colour and it's a it's a little bit more ready a, a red dish than mine is. And it's actually quite lovely. So don't worry if your colour isn't the same as mine. I'm sure it'll work out lovely at the end. Okay, please note I'm not painting my cheek right now. Or did I over there? No. I didn't. So, if you did, that's okay. You're just going to go over it with white. Okay, so I'm just filling in his face up until the nose. Okay, because this area, the cheek area, and then his bearded area is going to be white. So, as soon as you've got that, remember I said we need to work a little bit quick in this moment. It's just so that the paint doesn't dry. Okay, and acrylic tends to dry quite quickly. So I'm just taking a blob of white and I'm just placing it on my canvas because it's a bit easier to grab it from there. All right. And I just want to add a few strokes going 
into my lion like that to make it a fluffy lion. <laughs> and yeah so please note also the direction that my strokes are going okay and I quite like it when the strokes are are a little bit shorter because um, it makes the line look a bit more happy and fun but if you want it more realistic you can make them thinner smaller and um yeah, and a bit longer. Okay, so I'm just going up and down like that. And in this area, we want to follow the shape of his face. Okay, so all your strokes are communicating the shape in which the, the face is going. Okay, so over here, we've got lines curving into the hair there. And over here, underneath the eye, we've got lines curving around that. So use the eye as like your middle point and all your strokes are just curving around that. All right. If you like, you don't have to do this. I'm just going to do it for fun. I'm going to mix a little bit of a darker orange. So I'm just adding more red to a part of my orange over there. So... This would be for the people that's already done with the step. If you are not done with the step before, don't worry. You're not missing out. We're just adding a little bit of more of a color. So I'm just going to add here and there. I'm just going to add some of these lines in. Also so that you can just see what direction my brush strokes are going. Okay. So they tend to go quite straight up here on the nose. Right? And then they start curving here around the eye, they're still going straight here into the hair, okay, and they're curving here around the eye, and then here at the bottom of the eye, okay, and already my, my line is looking a bit more fluffy, cool stuff, okay, um, I'm going to just repeat that one more time, what we've done now, so we've taken our orange, which we've mixed with, two yellows, half a red and one white and we fold in our face area up until the nose and then while that paint was still wet I've taken some of my white paint and I've just added some lines all right and I've taken some of my orange paint and I mix a little bit more red with that and I've added a few lines in there and the lines are following the shape of my face so your nose lines will be a little bit more straight up ding 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 up until about where the eye is and then they start curving on the forehead and here at the bottom part of the eye um, where the cheekbone of the line would be they start curving around the bottom part of the eye okay and while we're busy with this color you can have some fun and just add a few more curves into your lion. So I'm just going to say this once again. Remember your cur your lion's mane is going downwards because gravity is pulling it down. So I'm just going to give you a few curves to see how they're going. They're going ding 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 ding. All right. And another one and only at this point they start going out. Okay. Cool stuff. And so some of your blue might still be a little bit wet. It's okay if it mixes a bit into your orange. But if it's very wet, you can still give it a moment. Or just put more curves to, towards the outside of your blue, as I'm doing now. All right. And remember, you want to work into the blue over there to the side of the face. Okay. At this point, I also wouldn't go too close to that side of the face because we want that dark area to be there to create that shadow. So stick to the outside of your lion's mane and just fill in as much orange as you like and try to make your curves go in different directions. So do you see like some of my curves have created a bit of a pattern? I want to break that pattern, okay? And so... If that curve is going like that, then I want this curve to just fall in a little bit more, 
like that. And if you need to mix some orange again, it is two blobs of yellow. One, two, one blob of white, one, and a tiny drop of red. Um, or if you're not using a red, you can just use rose. Like, quite like the red in this. All right, ding a ding a ding. And we mix it in. Oh, that's very yellow. I can add some more red to that. Okay, and we just do a few more curves towards the outside. And you can decide how far you would like your mane to go. I kind of like that the, the blue of the background is still peeking through a bit. So... Yeah, nice. I, I feel I made my um, foundation layer too thick. Okay. And too wet. Mm -hmm. And so when I was trying to do the hairy part of the face, it was still coming through. That blue was still coming through. Oh, okay. That's fine. So um, what Alex has just mentioned now, in because her bottom layer, her bottom blue, see, I'm touching mine now and it's dry, was too thick. While she was painting the hairs on the face and adding more paint on here, the blue is actually just pulling through into the face. And that is completely fine. If that's happening to you, don't worry at all because this is our bottom layer. We will be adding more and more lines on top of this. So that will dry eventually. And if you're worried about just let it dry. Give yourself a moment. Let it dry a bit. But we're going to be adding all these lovely colors these purples and these greens and these bright oranges onto that and you'll see that only here and there in between these lovely colors that bottom layer of that orange is shining through so that's the only oh, reason we've actually placed the orange down okay, okay. so don't worry give it a moment cool um, there we go. So um, there's a few curves in there and while that's drying in that area and especially our blue in this area, um, you can grab some white paint. So I'm once again just rinsing my brush making sure all of that color is out of the brush. Nice. There we go. And now I'm going to grab some white paint. Okay, and we can just place that directly onto this little cheek part of the lion. Okay, and watch out when you're going around your nose. So I would even outline that part first around my nose. And then here, going down to the mouth. It tends to just make it easier to stay within the lines. Okay, like that and then curve around there and then fill it in okay and here you don't want to go too thick on this because um, we're still gonna add some more colors to this um, at this point you can actually use this to check your proportion on your line maybe you feel like you need to widen this curve a little bit or you, um, if you need to bring it in, then just remember to stop where you're painting it and later on you can add more mains around that. Okay, so use these moments and when your paint is dry, you'll be able to see you can shape it a little bit differently to where you've started with. Okay, and then we're going to add some towards the bottom here. And remember it's a beard, so we're going to make it... Um, also quite textured with our yellow okay so coming down like that you can really show your brush strokes here and I would let it go out the canvas I wouldn't kind of push it in you know make it fit in it's breaking out see our line is breaking out our canvas all along his um, or on the right hand side of us Okay, so we're letting it break up there, and here, there we go. Then it can start shortening into the side over there. Okay, so 
while you've got your white paint down like that and while it's still wet we're actually going to add some yellow into that but we're not going to add some yellow everywhere we're just going to add some yellow into the left side of the beard and the left side of the cheek okay so and also not match yellows you can actually keep the white on your brush and if you feel like there's too much you can just rub it off on your um, palette all right but there's still white on my brush and I'm just taking a little drop of yellow and even just putting that on the side and you can mix that in there a little bit to lighten it up and all we want to do is we just want to pull a few lines on the side here okay so it's just like one two three there and one you can do solid confident lines hey and one two three four five here okay and that also just gives your beard and your cheek a little bit more of a, a 3d shape it shapes it round okay because we're adding some shadows into that all right so we've got that done you already have a line in front of you so you are pretty much there okay now it's just spicing him up adding some color making him come alive okay can I ask is there any questions from anyone this is so amazing <laughs> <laughs> thanks Alex <laughs> I'm absolutely loving it Yes, my oh, name. Alex, that's beautiful. His name is Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> that's so beautiful. That's really lovely, Alex. Thank you. It's still a little bit wet. I'm very heavy-handed with the paint, it seems. <laughs> so <laughs> there's a lot of, like, blue coming moods <laughs> through. That's cool, too. It is. It's a bluesy line. He's a bluesy. He loves his blues. <laughs> okay. Um, so okay, so we have a question from Susan. Yes. yes. I'm still painting with the white. Can you please repeat that part? Definitely. Awesome. Thank you, Susan, for your question. So, um, for the rest of you that's also at that point, what we've done is... Um, I've just taken white as is in the in the um, jar, and I've just with my mid um, with my medium brush, I've just added white on the cheek area of my lion. Okay, and what I did to make it a bit easier to sand the line is I first did the outline around where I'm going to paint, and then I filled it in with white. And then the same in the beard over here. Like just fold it in, ding, 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 ding. And as soon as that is done, while the white paint is still a little bit wet, I um, took some of my yellow. And while my brush actually still had some white on it, I just took a drop of yellow and I put three strokes in the cheek of the lion. And I put about five strokes here on the side on the left hand side of my beard of the line. Okay. Awesome. While we're just letting everyone catch up, if you're comfortable, I just put on your camera, let Lily see your artworks. Show us your lion. Show us your pride. Oh, lovely. Cool, Amy. Looking so good. Looking lovely. Beautiful, Amy. And you can see the personalities of all of them. Nice. Them. Amazing. Oh, okay, Jason, Jason, that is so Amy. great. And Wendy, yeah, yeah. awesome stuff. Wendy, I love your liners. Yes, I love it. It's great. It's what a line it should be. Like, um, he looks like Alex from um, Madagascar when he goes yes. wild. Oh, and there's <laughs> Dave. Dave, what's your daughter's name? It's Lily. It's Lily. Oh, Lily. I'm Lily yes. too. Yay. <laughs> oh, Lily, I hope you grow up to be an amazing artist. I can see the talent already. <laughs> Look at you. That's amazing. Well Thank done, you. Lily. Oh, and Anna? Nice. I'm loving your colors and your sh the shapes. Your mane is so alive. I love it. Very, very cool. Yay. Thanks for putting your cameras on, guys. Awesome stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Hmm. 
where am I? <laughs> Just leave me. What, you what are am I doing? <laughs> what, what am okay, I? Okay, so we've just done the we've just done the little three D highlights of together. Okay, there we go. Awesome stuff. I hope everyone is at that point. All of the pictures that I've seen are looking really good, and everyone's on par. Um, so let's start diving into the fun stuff. As you can see in step four, we're going to start mixing. A bunch of different colors okay one being like um, a turquoisey greeny sagey color there's actually two there's more of a, a light turquoise and then there's a little bit of a sage color that we're gonna add in and then we're gonna mix kind of like a, a like a violet light purple and then also quite a, a little bit of a darker purple and place that in here and there there's gonna be a bit of pink and then on top of that, just to bring the orange back out, we're going to add, lastly, our oranges. So we're going to mix three different oranges, which is a light orange, dark orange, and we're just going to pl place them in these lovely, like, confident brush strokes. So you're going to mix quite and thickly paste it on, okay, and, like, confidently decide, there, I'm going to put you, boom. All right, there might be a moment where you feel like it's a little bit disjointed, and um, but don't worry about that. It's all going to come together when you've got all your colors down. Okay, so just keep on keeping on. Just need to keep on painting. All right. Also, in between, if you feel like your colors are becoming murky, that means you need to stop and let it dry a little bit. Because if you put too many colors on top of each other, it's going to all mix together and it might come become murky. That's why if you look at my brush strokes, they are not on top of each other. They're next to each other. So here I have that turquoise, that light turquoise, and next to it a purple and light um, orange over there with a light yellow. Okay, so they're all nicely placed next to each other and maybe like the ones a little bit further to the top and a little bit further to the bottom. But... That's, they're like next to each other. Okay, so we're not going to mix them all in together. Cool stuff. So we've chatted about that, and now let's get going. At this point, if you want your lion to be more pink, then add more pink strokes. Or you want it to be more green, then add more green strokes. Like, art is a wonderful space where anything can exist, like pink lions or green lions. And you can just, you can just do whatever you like. Isn't that great? <laughs> is a song like that. You it can is. do whatever you like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. So let's get going. We are going to start with our rosy colors first. Okay. So let's mix a nice light pink. So I'm going to grab a blob of rose. All right. And a blob of white. And you can just mix that together. Ooh, a ding a ding. Look at that. All right. I don't add too, uh, like, I wouldn't add too much of this color to mine. Um, but I'm just going to here and there to pick up that, those little pink bits coming through. As you can see, they only come here and there up in my picture. So, and mostly in the main. So I'm just going to do from this darker area, ding, ding, ding. And remember with your main, some of them, you don't have to squiggle all of them. You can make some of them straight as I'm going. So I've got a squiggle coming down like an S, ding, ding, ding. And then I've got one going whoops, and I've got one going whoop, going up, going down. And we can add in a few of them, ding. And some of them you can make shorter, some of them you can make longer. And if you want some pink just coming through the edges over there. So you don't have to keep on going. Grr, grr, grr. So remember it's the hairs that are falling in front and behind of each other. So only here and there you might even see a few bits of that. Okay, and I'm going to put one... Two little pink lines in at the top there. Okay. So we've got some pink on our line. And already that's making it pull, t pull together and come together. 
Okay, this pink, because it is a little bit of a darker color, I'm putting more of it towards the face than I am putting it towards the edges of the a mane. So our light yellows, we're gonna put more towards the edge of the mane, okay? And what I've also realized is I want my mane to actually be extra long here at the bottom and less at the top, because if you look at the different difference between these two, you will see that currently my mane is longer in that area, in the middle part of my canvas than it is below. And it's making it look like a little bit odd, so I'm just going to lengthen it out here at the bottom, as you can see down here. But that's not so important. I mean, even if this mane that I've painted already stopped there, that it also work quite well. So at the end, you can even bring in some more blue and just paint... I think I might be doing that. I want to take those lines away. So I'll show you how to do that in a bit as well. Cool. So we've got a few pink lines that we've put in. And all right. Remember, you're trying to find spaces in between. So if you look very carefully, I've actually placed my pink lines in between. And only here and there is going over my orange. But it's more going in between it. Alright, now you want to rinse your brush and we're going to mix a really, really nice purple. Okay, so all we're going to do is, with that color we've got already, we are just going to add some blue to that. So I like to keep my colors on my palette, so I'm going to create a new blob. So I'm going to keep some of my pink down there in case I might need it later. And I'm just going to do that, create a new pink blob, and I'm going to take tiny blob of blue. First put it on the side because we don't know how strong it's going to be. Okay, so I'm going to just work it in little bit by bit. Okay, and there we have a lovely purple. All right, so you want to go for like a milky purple, but it still needs to be a bit darker. So it needs to be a little bit more blue than pink. And, um, but you still want that milkiness of the white paint coming through. All right, because that's what's going to bind all of your colors together. All of them are going to be quite milky at the end of the day. Cool, and now we're going to grab this purple, and once again, only in our darker areas. And you might not even see them so clearly as I'm painting them because I'm adding them next to my pinks and on top of my blue and that's just bringing in another darker layer closer to my face okay so just here and there on the sides and I'm going to mix that color again for those of you that have missed it cool so I took some of my pink that I've already mixed all right created a new puddle and I've just added a tiny bit of blue started mixing that in Okay, so it's still a little bit pink, and then I just add a little bit more blue into that, like that. There we go. So we've got even a bit darker. All right, just putting blue on the side and slowly adding more in. There we go. Okay, cool. So it's a bluish purple, but because of the white paint that was in your pink. And your pink was mixed with rose and not with red. Very important. We're not mixing purple with red here. We are mixing it with our rose color. All right. And because that's going to make it really pop out. Okay. And make it a happy purple. Cool. So now I'm just going to add in here and there. And I'm still letting my dark blue come out in certain areas. But I don't want too much of my dark blue in my lion. Okay. So it can just be to create the shadow. So I'm basically filling most of it, covering it with this lovely purple that we've just mixed. So we've got purple going out all around our lion now. And now you want to start bringing that purple into the sides, side of the mane a little bit more. And as I said, you don't have to keep on making squiggle, 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 squiggle. Here it's just... Chips, you put one down there, and you put one down there, and you just put little curves going up and going down and around. 
Okay, so just ding, ding, ding here and there, maybe one down here, curving down. Okay. Also, what you can really do is stand up a little bit away from your canvas and just check it out because then you'll be able to see, oh, where do I need more color, where do I need more darkness, and maybe check your shapes and so on. Okay. So take a step back, take another sip. <laughs> I'm going to take another sip. Keep sipping. <laughs> keep sipping and keep painting. <laughs> I love painting. <laughs> around me is chaos. <laughs> it's so nice. It's so nice to just release. There we go. Yeah. Unleash. Awesome. Oh, that's lovely, Alex. Hey, do you like? Yeah, show them. Look at her lovely, lovely purple coming through there. I think my mane's coming out too far here. Maybe? I don't know. Mm, okay. I think it's alright. Just like it's got this like really long hair I, that's gone rogue. Can I yeah, can I take yours as an example? Yes, can please, I quickly show yes, it? Please. Okay guys, so this is Alex's painting. It's so lovely. I love these colours and her blue her turquoise coming through is so great. So she's telling me that that little line over there is just bothering her a bit because it looks like it's gone. What? It's gone rogue. She says <laughs> it's gone rogue. Okay, and that's. I think it's fine. All she has to do is just lengthen these ones at the bottom a little bit. Okay. So that's one option you have. The other option is to take your blue and just paint it over there. To okay. You see what I'm doing? Because we're anyway is going to mix some blue for the background to cover that line. So you can also bring some more blues into here and just cover if you want to shape. But I'll do that over here to show you guys. Okay, lovely. Um, another thing that I'm just noting on Alex's one, and I'd like you guys just to check that out. Um, you see everything tends to kind of like here on her piece. I'm saying this with love no, because we're here to learn. Please. It kind of like stops a little bit abruptly. Okay, and we want that to blend in a little bit more. And how she's going to do that, Alex, is it alright if I do a yes, few strokes? Please. How she's going to do that? Painting. <laughs> <laughs> how she's going to do that is she's going to grab a like a bit of a, a darker blue, all right, just with hers specifically. But you can decide if you want to do darker um, blue or darker purple and just work it into the side of the lion's face here and I'm actually going to mix a little bit more purple here um, so mixing purple with rose and blue and then I've just added a bit of white to that and then we can just add some strokes blending into the side there okay and some of the colors stop close to the face, some of the colors stop a bit further, and we're just doing that to help the mane blend more into the face, like that. Okay, and some of these colors that you've used here, you can repeat in the actual mane over here. All right, and you can break some of these very clear bits like that. Okay. Stunning. There we go. Cool. So you got that. Alex, you can do a little bit more of that just around All right, awesome. there. Okay. Lovely. Thank you. It's a pleasure. So did you see the little rogue hair on Alex's thing? So either I told her to con like um, what, like extend the mane or she can actually take some of the mane back. So I'm going to quickly show you how to take some of that mane back. So you're anyways going to want to cover this little line that you've painted here. So you can mix the same color that you have in your background or you can mix a new color. So Alex's background has inspired me a little bit and I really like that um, turquoise color. So I'm grabbing some blue with some yellow and I'm just mixing that in to make it a bit more turquoisey. And then we're going to grab some white with that. Okay, and maybe make it a little bit more blue. Alright, so I'm happy with this color. I'm going to lighten it up as I go along. But now I'm going to cover some of the mains that I have here. Okay, so I'm just going to 
work it in there. So because that's the that's the area that I want to cover. And if it's more comfortable for you, you can even like pull a line. If you're like, boom, that's where I want my mane to stop. And you can paint it in. Because remember, we're still working on our mane and we can just let it go in there. And please, you do not have to do this step. I'm just helping you if you've done a bit of a mane that you, an uh, unwanted mane. <laughs> an unwanted mane. An untamed mane. Untamed mane, yeah. So we're taming our manes a little bit. Okay. And I'm just going to actually add a little bit more blue into this one. And please remember to work in different directions. We're doing different brush strokes. And I'm actually going to, as it goes to the top, I'm going to lighten it. And as it gets closer to the bottom of my page, I'm actually going to just go a bit darker with my blue. Okay. If you like, you can grab your big brush just to smooth it out a bit because our hairs on our mane is already a bit crazy <laughs> so that contrast in the smooth background and the like textured mane will will look nice i'm just gonna do this and as i said i'm gonna darken in the bottom area also give it a little bit more dynamic okay a ding a ding there we go look at that shape okay I might even Lovely. have to add and that. make it just a bit longer here at the bottom so I'm just gonna do a mark so that I remember to fill it in and I mean you can do that in in yellow or orange or um, white or so I'm just gonna lengthen it in this area a little bit okay Okay, so also remember you don't want your mane to stop like ding 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 ding. Let some of the hairs go a little bit longer and let it also become thinner as it goes to your side here. Okay, so that will happen. You know, you'll start little hairs there, but we'll bring that in with our white closer to the end. Okay, just rinse your brushes. Do I have any questions at this point? Um, and as specifically, if you're having some trouble with your background or your mane. Um, so, so mine is doing that murky thing because I think I, I painted with quite a lot of paint. Okay. Um, and so now my mane's starting to go a bit brown. Okay. Who am I talking to? To Kirsten. It's Kirsten. Is I'll Kirsten? turn on my camera now. Uh, yes, please. Then I can just check it Hi. out. Awesome. Okay. So I've been trying to avoid painting um, yeah. in the wet parts, but, yes. but pretty much every color, even the very dark blue from the beginning, was wet. It's so wet. So this area is all like just become one color now. Okay. Oh, but it's fine. Currently, that's still looking all right for me. I'm not seeing too much of murkiness, but I think in the meantime, let that dry a little bit, and I will actually okay. move on to the face so that everyone's mane cool. can dry a little bit more, and then we'll okay. do some marks on our face, and then we'll move back on to that. But for everyone, thanks, Chris, and that's a really good question. Um, for everyone that might be, like, getting a bit of a murkiness coming through, please remember to wash your brush, rinse your brush in between every stroke and to also stop it from becoming murky even if your paint is wet right is by cleaning your brush making sure it's clean um in between each color and when you use the color grab quite a lot of colors so i'm just going to show you an example with my white okay so all of this on my painting is still wet especially in that area so that that um purple and that orange is still very wet and I'm going to grab some white. And if I take too, uh, not, too, uh, not enough white, I'm actually going to smudge it together. But if I take enough white, so you can really paste it down and just paste it like that and stop. It doesn't get murky. But as soon as I start trying to work it in, 
if I start scratching over this, it's going to start becoming murky. So that's why I say we need to make these confident marks, just place them down and leave them. All right, but don't worry, it is difficult because I also am like, oh, I didn't quite want it there. And then you kind of like work at it and then all of the paint just mixes in together. When that happens, just move on to another side, let that dry and go over it later. Okay, cool stuff. So let's move on to our face. Okay, and now we can mix a lovely light purple because we've just had our darker purple now, all right? And we can just add some white into that dark purple. Okay, so um, maybe a little bit more white. All right, and I'm actually gonna add one drop of rose into that because this is still just, just too blue for me. So I'm adding a tiny drop, see how small that drop is, into my purple. Okay, even a little bit more. There we go. So it's like a pinky purpley color. And you can even hold this color against your reference um, on the front. Might be easier. And you can actually check that out. And even if you want to paint on your reference and see, oh, that's very close. Okay. So that's how I taste a lot of colors. When I'm working on my reference, I just actually place it onto my reference and then I get a better, better idea of that. Okay, so we've got a little bit of purple, and now we're just going to start placing it in some areas. So the first area I would like you to put one stroke is just here by your beard. Oh, not by your beard, um, by your cheek. Okay, so on the lion's cheek, oops, just over there. A nice, solid, um, confident stroke, one, and you're down. That's enough, and then I would like you to place... Let's start with two and see what it looks like. We're going to go all the way at the top here, at the top of the mouth, let it curve down like that one, and two, and just a tiny one down here, three. Okay, also nice and solid. Okay, now let's check that with the reference out. Cool, so. Just above the eye, there's a lovely stroke here as well. So I'm going to pull that in there. Okay. There's a purple one there above the eye. And then there's a purple one here on the side of the eye. Oops. So below the bottom on the side of the eye there. Ding, ding. I'm quickly going to go through that again. With a lovely light purple on your cheek next to your yellow, so we've placed yellow there, and I'm just going to place, oops, a lovely purple there, and then here at your mouth, we're going to go one, two, three strokes, and then just above the eye, boop, and towards the, the edge of the eye, and that one, bing, okay, cool, and now, I'm actually going to make it a little bit more pinky, just because... I feel like you guys can't see it so well on there. So let's try. Okay. Now there's another one. If you check it out, there's another line over here. Just going down on the nose. All right. So it's, there's about a finger space in between the purple line we've made and the next line I'm making now. And then we want to place a little bit lower, another one going down. So I'm going like... Ding, ding, ding. All right. You can see that they're quite like spaced out of each other. And then also about two fingers towards the forehead of the lion. I don't want to put it straight in line with the other one. So I'm going to move a little bit lower. But round about there on the forehead. Okay. And then we can add a few here at the top of the head. Okay just to blend in his hair coming through there. All right, so one, two there, and then let's put in another one there. Okay, so the last one I've put in curves down a little bit, all right, and it's just next to the cheek here, because there will possibly be a shadow there for the line. So our purples are creating a few shadows that is going on our line, okay. 
So there's our few purples down. Now you can, if you want to, grab this color and if your mane is dry enough, I would just put like three of these strokes around there somewhere. I just need to make some more. So I'm grabbing rose and white, lots of white. Ooh. There we go. And a little bit of blue. All right, to get my purpley color. And you want this purple color to be more pink and lighter than the purple you've placed on before. Okay, much lighter actually. All right, so I'm gonna place one down there. Okay, and it's solid, I'm just placing it down. Make sure there's lots of paint on your brush. If you don't have enough paint, please mix some more. Okay, so I'm just placing one there, one there. And you see my brush strokes in the main are becoming shorter and shorter as I go along. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, maybe one up here in the corner. Okay, and then so that's one, two, three, four. Not exactly all spaced out in the same area, not all in the same row. Some of them are closer to face, some of them are further. I feel like it may need one that's just a bit further here, placing it down. And I'm realizing my paint is nearly up, so I'm going to mix some more, but I'm just going to place my last two and one a bit close to here and then towards the edge over there. Okay, and so our line is going to start coming together. Cool. And that was our purpley color um, that we've placed in the face. So now we are going to start placing um, some of this light turquoise in our face. Okay. So please rinse your brush. Make sure it's very clean because red, blue, and yellow give you brown. Okay. And we only want to go for yellow and blue. So make sure all of that purple is out of your brush because purple means that there's red in your brush and we need to get rid of that. Okay. Any questions from anyone? Is everyone still happy? And can I move on to the, the, tur the very light turquoise? Yes, thumbs up. How do we make the turquoise color again? Sorry. Oh, I haven't. I haven't explained. So I'll do that now. <laughs> <laughs> You're one step ahead. <laughs> okay. Cool. So I just want to make a note. The colors we are using on the face now need to be really, really, really light because that's going to make your face pop forward. If you have used darker colors on your face, on the area of your face, you actually, I would suggest, take some white and go over that. So if your purple was very dark, just grab some white out of the thing and just smudge it over that because it should still be, um, still wet and then that will just lighten it up a bit. Okay. Because we don't want to, we don't want dark as dark as the side of your face on your face because that is going to create shadows um, that need to rather be on the side of your face. Okay, we want that to pop out. Cool. All right, so I am going to move over onto the turquoise. And what I'd like you guys to do, if you still have a little bit more left of that blue color you're using in your background, you can use that on your palette or we can just mix some more. So I have some blue on the side here and I'm just going to mix a blob of blue with a blob of yellow and then we're going to get like this grassy greeny color. Okay, now we're just going to add a lot of white to that. Okay, and I'm grabbing some white. And you can first... Oh, no, I'm just mix it in. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, it's more a light, sagey color than it is turquoise, um, which I quite like. Because this is one of my favorite colors. I just want to paint everything this color. 
Um, okay, but you can decide if you want to make yours a little bit more blue than green and, and so on. So I'm just going to show you that color there. It's nearly the same color as my paintbrush. Okay, so, and I would rather say, rather go lighter than go darker. Okay. Cool stuff. Because we're working on our face and we want it to pop forward. Okay, so now let's check our reference. We have, we're going to start around the eye and with our lovely light turquoise, I'm going to just mention how to mix that one more time to make sure everyone's on, on the right place. So I've taken some blue and I've taken the same amount of blue and the same amount of yellow and I've mixed that together and I've taken maybe a little bit more white than that and just maybe so like two blobs of white one blue one yellow um, and just mix that together you might need a little bit more yellow um, depending on which colors you have but there we go okay and now I'm just gonna add we're gonna start around the eye here okay so you see we have a lovely light blue there and I'm just gonna place it and first see if I'm happy with my color just gonna place it down there so I feel like mine can be a little bit lighter all right so for those that I um, said about lightening it on your canvas if you've placed it you can just take some white as I've done now with this dirty brush because it's the blue and I'm working with the blue so it's fine and I'm just gonna place some white on that and you see it already lightens that up okay so I'm just going to add more white into this color and even a little bit more, more yellow. Let's see how that looks. Aha! Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay, I like that. All right. If you have cerulean blue, which is this one, okay, it tends to get you to your turquoise much quicker because it already has a bit of a turquoise tint in it and you can actually just take cerulean and mix white with that okay and then you get that color so I'm just going to add a drop of that in there but all right so let's see how it looks now okay so we've got one line above the eye and I want to curve it in like that okay so it's curving around the eye then we have a stroke Next to, so our top purple stroke here on the nose, I'm going to add one next to that and also curving. So we let it curve like that. And then we can put another one over here, just above the cheek, okay, going from the side of the face into the cheek area, into that white area. All right, and maybe a line. So not in line with this blue one you already have, move a little bit down on that side of the nose. Okay, and we can put another curve here at the top. So I'm just gonna curve it over there. And then I'm going to put one going into the hair there and one down here. All right. It's, at this point, it may seem a little bit disjointed. It's all right. We're going to start adding in a few more in between here to, um, to pull it together. Okay, so don't worry too much about that. Then still using our lovely light um, turquoise color. I'd like you to add a shade down here. So just here at the bottom of the cheek into that purple color that you've already placed there. We're putting that color down. And then we're pulling a few colors, one strokes like that, one stroke in the beard, two strokes in the beard, and maybe a third one just over there, three. Okay, so ding, 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 ding. And then if you are all right to move on to your mane again, we're just going to add a few of these so that they connect the face to the mane. So, and I'm not going to do too much of these because we've already got blue in our background. 
So I've just added one there, and as you see, it's not going all the way into my um, dark purple area, and it thins, I let it thin out, so it goes thinner, fatter, thinner, okay, and that's kind of the shape of the um, mains, like the strokes that you're putting in the main you want to make, okay, so we've got one there in, towards the middle, then we've got one here, just can be a bit longer, we can even curve it like that. Okay, so what's nice if you let things work in three, so we're going to put a smaller one there, so ding, 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 all right, and we're going to put one tiny one here at the top. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, and now I just want to add one going down here, and another one curving in there. And just a little bit coming through there. Not even a whole stroke, just a tiny bit at the bottom there. Okay, so you want it to balance out. Just a few strokes in the face and a few around the, um, in the main. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven in the main. Okay, so you don't want to overdo it. Cool. And now, important to rinse your brush out. And ladies and gentlemen, we are nearly done. Wow. I feel like today I um, have painted a little bit more compartmentalized than I did previously, and that is completely fine. I quite like it. <laughs> yeah. I'm obviously in a more organized mood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. And where's my lobby? Here we go, cleaning that green out of your brush. Cool, now we're going to move over into our oranges and our yellows. So, um, and that's really going to make the lion look more like a lion, okay? And then after this, we're just going to do the eye and voila. So, we're nearly there. Uh, I just need a sip. Have a sippy. Do you need more? Mmm. Do you need more? I haven't even had any yet. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and that's the problem. This so much. <laughs> I haven't needed a sip of wine. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so back to my other palette with my yellows on. Um, we are now going to mix a lovely light orange. So similar to the orange that we we started with on the face, but I'm going to lighten it up even a bit more. Okay, so we are going to grab, and I'm just going to dive into this puddle, but I'll place it down here on the side. Two blobs of yellow. Oh, I'm going to put the red down there. I'm going to put one blob of red down, but I'm going to work it in slowly. Okay, and oh, I'm very naughty. I keep on sticking dirty brushes in my white paint and then you'll see my face. getting so messy it's so bad okay don't don't, don't do what I do do what I say you should you should definitely take a take an ice cream stick or something and scoop it scoop up scoop it up yeah. so that you can save it for next time exactly okay so we've got two blobs of wa wa yellow and one blob of white and I'm going to mix that in together first Okay, just to get the main tone down. And now I'm just going to add, so remember my blob of red that I put to the side here? I'm just going to take a few drops of that and start mixing that in. To see how orange I want it to go. So that's already about half of my red. I'm going to go a little bit more. Yeah, I like that color. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. Okay, so you can decide how orangey you want to go, but I'm, I quite like this. So remember, my color earlier was a lot brighter, so I'm going a bit more milky here, but more reddish. So it tends to look a bit darker, 
but because of the white that I'm putting in, it makes it more milky. And I'm actually going to add even more white to that because I realize as soon as I put it down on my face, it seems a bit darker than it looks on my palette. Right, so one more blob of white. Uh -huh. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, so it might be similar to a few of the strokes that we added at the beginning, and that's fine. It's just going to bring our line together. Okay, so where I'd like you to add this is a small stroke going in between your purple around the eye and that blue one you've placed there. So just there. Doing. All right. And then a lovely curvy one outside of this purple around your eye. So just there. Okay. I see that um, it's not so visible on your, on the camera. So I'm just going to lighten mine up so you can see it a little bit better. Alright, so I've placed one here in the middle and then on the side there. Okay, and now you can kind of like fill it in a little bit as you feel necessary. Alright, so I'm going to place another one here at the bottom of my eye. Okay, going around it. So I've got three going around my eye now. And I'm even going to add another one here at the top and then one in between these two and you see there it's crossing over that purple bit and that's great so you can let it cross over here and there a little bit on your nose one over there definitely in the corner over here curving around shaping that nose all right and let's put one more here and another one up there. Okay, we can maybe lengthen this one a little bit. All right, and we can make some of it go into the hairs at the top. Okay, so I've got three that I've now placed here at the top of the main. And yeah. Oh. I don't know, I'm quite happy with that for now. Maybe one more here close to that little purple bit. Okay, so we've got one there and another quick one over there and the last one over there. All right. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to take this lovely orange and I'm going to work it in more into the outer side of my mane. Okay, once again, remembering lots of paint on your brush and confident brush strokes. Okay. And thinner to thicker. Okay. And we point it. So I see I'm point I'm painting with the point of my brush. Then I'm pressing harder and going in. Those two might be a little bit close to each other. <laughs> That's alright. Um, and I'm just gonna curve one like that. I need more paint on my brush. Over like that. One going in here. Okay, and another one towards the middle here. And then I'm just going to add another one here, curving around. So this one, lengthening it out. And a bit over there. Remember, you can make some of them a little bit thicker and some of them a little bit thinner. So I'm going to add maybe just that one peeking out there at the bottom. And one more here. And I feel like it needs one at the top here. Once again, in between our turquoise and our purple. Okay. See, and already that's bringing more of your line together. Cool. All right, so we've got our lovely orange coming through into the line, and now we're going to add some light yellows. Okay, any questions up until this point? Oh, hi. 
yellow is like yellow. Is it super yellow? Like yellow. <laughs> So remember, you guys want to keep it as, especially on the face, as milky as you can to keep that face light and really make it pop forward. Okay. Um, another thing that I just thought of and it lost, it's left me now. Anyway, it'll come back to me and I'll let you know. Um, okay, so we're going to move on to yellow now and... Mm -hmm. Um, we're just going to keep it nice and milky by adding white to it, okay? Um, Alright, so you're going to grab that palette again and we're just going to add, take a blob of yellow and a big blob of white. Okay, and you can mix that in together. I would say two blobs of white and one blob of yellow. Oh, I remember what I wanted to say. I wanted to say, Anna, your artwork is looking so beautiful. <laughs> it's really coming together now. Because I remember I saw I saw something that I wanted to comment on. <laughs> it's so lovely. Okay, so just back to that yellow. We've got two blobs of white and one blob of yellow. Nice, nice, light, light, light yellow. All right. Oops, I... Uh, So also watch out when you get paint on the rest of your brush. You tend to touch that and touch everything else and then your couch is full of paint. <laughs> so just watch out for that. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a really nice light yellow. And we're going to start adding that into our face. And this is our last point. So this is where we really want to pull out some highlights that will be light. Okay, so a part of the line that will be hit by the, by the light is his this tip of his nose okay and that's where we're going to add our first yellow bit and you can just blob it down there so also curving with the nose okay and then a lovely area that will also be get more light is this cheekbone over here and we can add a nice stroke there Okay, and we can even add a lovely stroke here above the eye. So there's purple above the eye, and then there's orange, and then in that area I'm adding a light yellow. And we can even add another yellow coming in here on the nose, just below that turquoise area. And one in between those two oranges on the nose. And let's add a curvy one here at the top of the face. And then lastly, like in the forehead here, I even put two strokes there. So one solid stroke, grab some more paint, add another stroke. Okay, and that's just letting the line like pop out, pop forward. Right. Um, so now we want to add some of these light yellows into our mane. Okay, and because it's such light color, mostly to the sides of the mane. And also at this point, um, I would move over to, if you're struggling to paint thinner lines, um, I would move over to your thinner black brush, your, your smallest brush. What does your smallest brush look like? What's the size? Is it this? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yes. Everyone, I would use your smallest brush. Uh, oh, no, that's, that's the smallest brush is the... Um, that's the middle. Oh, this is the middle. But anyway, yeah, your middle or your smallest one? This is the smallest one, yeah. Okay, cool, nice. Okay, so we've got that light, light yellow and... Now it's important to focus on the edges of your mane and to really shape them nicely. Okay, so you would want some of these to come downwards, all right, and then you can just thicken it out as it goes in. Maybe you want one just breaking up over there. Okay, I'm just going to let this one curve in there. So we've got towards the outside, but also here in these small little bits coming in. 
Okay, so it's crossing over that um, turquoise line that we've placed there. And what I would also do is the, the strokes you're making towards the side of the face, I would do thicker and do those with my medium or my big brush. And the ones towards the edge of the um, main, work them with my smallest brush. Okay. Cool, so and then once again here smaller brush towards the edge and at this point I'm letting these curve down a little bit because the side of the mane tends to go more out and then it shifts and it goes down. Remember those strokes we did at the beginning went loopy like that so we're following that shape. Okay and here we're just adding another one in there and I'm just going to all over that one because I put some white in my mane. Okay, so I need more light yellow. Once again, how to mix it. One blob of yellow, two blobs of white, one, two. Okay, and mix and mix and mix and mix and mix. Here we go. Oh, you can even go lighter. You can even do three blobs of white. Alright. There we go. Cool stuff. So, we've got a few at the top. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six towards the top of the main. And now I'm moving. So, seven down here. Alright. And... Another one to the side here, just breaking out of the canvas. And a little bit more inward. And a tiny one just peeking out there. So the, the theory behind these yellow lines is these are the highlights. This is where the light is hitting his mane. Okay, and so it's just little bits that's coming through, all right. And obviously more light will be hitting his mane on the edges of his mane. So I'm gonna add maybe like one more stroke coming in here, tiny stroke. I'm gonna add a few darker ones down there. And I'm really happy with where it's going. Also, I would keep this a bit dark. I might just do that line over there. Let it break out at the top there. And now just maybe add some tips of the mane curving out into our background. Okay, so at this point I would also stand back a bit, so stand up, give your mane a look. Okay, see if that shape, there's a lovely curve at the top there. The widest part should be there in the middle and then it comes down, but it's not curving in like a sun. It's going down at a, at a lesser angle than there is at the top there. Okay, so I quite like this shape more than I like this shape, but you can decide what you like more on your line. So you see in the reference, our curve is going down and it even like goes outside of the canvas, cuts out there, but I quite like that it's going around there in that area. All right, we are nearly done, ladies and gentlemen. We just have to paint our eyes. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, can I get an amen? amen. <laughs> cool stuff. Okay, so um, any questions up until this point about the main? Maybe you need some help with where your lines need to be. Um, anything, anything that's that's um, bothering you or yeah. Oh, uh, Kirsten's got a question. Oh yes, Kirsten, please. Um, Go ahead. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay, so, please, can you just help me with the part of the mane that's close to his face? 
Okay. It's still looking a lot like the, like the, sort of the line, where am I, here? Yeah. yeah. That yeah. kind of goes next to his face. I'm seeing a lot of the original blue that we started with. Okay. Um, so. I just, I don't know if it needs more happening. orange or I can't really feel what. Okay. I'm just what you need to kind of make that more gradual instead of. You know, the clear blue line. Yes, yes, yes. So what I would do is I would just mix some purple. Um, so that's your rose and your blue. And I'm actually, Alex, are you saying you're having the same trouble? Yeah, it's because um, I think we were very heavy-handed with the base. So it's also coming through. Like my, my, my line face looks quite blue. I think, yeah. Justin, you might be having the same problem. So yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna explain here on Alex's um, picture. So what I would do, Kirsten, is just in this area, um, I would mix a little bit more of this purple that we did, and that's rose and blue. One blob of rose, one blob of blue, and then um, sorry, I'm just trying to see this on on the camera here. Um, so one blob of rose, one blob of blue, and a tiny bit of white. Okay, and then you're gonna get this, it's a little bit lighter than that dark purple we mixed at the beginning, um, but it's not as light as this light purple we have here. So it's just a mid-tone in between that, and that's gonna let it like fade into your your mane from that and it's also just not going to have that like blue stroke there but there's going to be some of that and what you can even do is bring some rose into that area and just give a few curves over there with your rose as is and then that will also just help it blend into the rest okay so you can give that a go and then show me a little bit later if you like Alex, you too, with yours, with Alex's one. It's too I No, I quite like this. It's lovely. I might just add a little bit more darker blue here and there, just to create that. But this is this is a really lovely, lovely strokes. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, cool stuff. Um, all right, so I really liked this... Um, light sage color that we mixed and I decided to make my eye that color but you can decide if you want to make a pink eye or like oh. more a grassy green eye um, that might really pop out actually yeah yeah that might pop out because it's not anywhere else on the on the page or if you want to make it a blue eye you go ahead. So I'm going to stick to my sage because I still have some mixed in my palette. All right. And um, what we can just do is just grab some of that sage, but I'm actually going to go through how to mix that again. So we take a blob of blue. Okay. Two blobs of yellow. Uno, dos. Okay. And then we get that, that grassy green that we spoke about. Mm, make it that color like like a springbok color anyway um so you got that and then you want to add a blob of white to that but you might have to add a few blobs of white to that all right and mine just needs a little bit more blue Okay, so you've got that sagey color. And you just want to add in the iris part of your eye. Okay, so your iris is the color area around the eye. Okay, and you just want to fill that in with that color. And I'm feeling like mine is a bit too dark is it too dark though no maybe i need to go darker like i'm feeling i want to go darker but you also don't want to go too dark because then it's going to blend into your pupil okay so and you can work it in maybe 
have that down there and while the paint is still wet you can take a little bit of white and just blend that into your eye okay just to give it a bit um, more of a shape all right so we've got our eye down there we go and now we are just going to accentuate some of the darker bits okay so we're going to mix that dark purple again so that's one blob of blue one blob of rose and mix that in together all right and I want mine a bit more purpley so adding more rose to that Yay. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Cool. At this point, please use your thinnest, 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 thinnest brush. Your tiniest, smallest brush. Okay. Um, all right. And now we're just going to go around the shape of our eye just to make sure we're happy with it. That edge is over there. And note that it's thinner in the corners and thick, goes a little bit thicker towards the middle of the eye and then thins out again. Can I still a little bit more of mm -hmm. Thank you. There we go. Oops. Okay, and then we can also just accentuate this nose again and make sure that line over there is straight and the bottom one is nice and curved. And we can move down. And you can check your shapes out now. So maybe you feel that in this area it needs to curve a little bit more in and you can add a bit darker. But there, mine doesn't necessarily need that. I'm showing you guys. Um, and maybe in that area it could be a bit darker. No, and going in here. Okay. So you can decide if here and there in your main you might want a few darker bits. And then I feel like it can lighten up just over there. So at this point, I would suggest stand up as I'm doing. Sorry, I'm probably like not no, in the no. camera anymore. But yeah, stand up and check up. Are your shapes correct? Are you happy with your eye? Um, like, so I feel like that's going too pointy into the head. So I'm just going to add one of those lacquer confident lines, sagey one over there, and maybe even there, just to open up the forehead and even put one in there, letting that one curve a little bit longer. So these are now just the little details that you want to start bringing in. My, my painting is wet. <laughs> it's wet, wet, wet. Okay. All right. So, very important bit now would be to um, do the light dot inside of our eye. If your eye, um, if your iris is not dry, don't do this just yet. Let it dry first. So if you need to continue and just here and there, so I see I've dripped some blue paint on my nose. So I'm just quickly going to fix that up with my light yellow and just place that down there. Okay. And then we are using a clean, clean brush. Very important that it's nice and clean at this point because we want this white to 
really shine out on that eye. Okay, and I'm also, I'm just going to use the lid of my white because I know that's clean. I might need a bit more. There we go. Okay, so if you've got a lacquer blob of white on your brush, also your smallest brush, and I would stay on the inside of the lid, the top lid that you've pulled down. So you don't want your white bit to go over that lid, but you want it to just be inside to the right hand side of your pupil. Okay. And rather start small, so I'm going to place it there, ding, ding, ding. Rather start small and you can just make it bigger if you feel the need. Okay, so I feel I can go a little bit bigger and I'm just working it in into the pupil. So it's not all the way to the other side of the pupil. It stops just beyond the middle. All right, so it crosses over the middle of the pupil. And then it's also not all the way to the bottom of the pupil. They're still left below. Okay. And then, mm -hmm. it seems like we are nearly done. I'm going to give you one more option that you can do. I'm just not going to do it on this one. Um, you can do it on mine. Okay. <laughs> no, but I also don't want to go too crazy because it might fall on your cup. Uh, like, so if you're on a floor, I would suggest you can go ahead mm -hmm. um, or you can go outside because we're going to splash a little bit. So I'm just going to explain to you how to do it. Um, I'm not going to do it in here because there's a lovely carpet underneath me. Um, so if you're on a carpet, please do not do this. Close your carpet. Also, watch out if you don't have a um, apron on, um, first go, go put something on or whatever. Um, so we're going to splash a little bit. And how you splash is you take... Um, your palette, all right, and whatever color, so um, you can see the difference here. Here's a few splashes on my line that I did before, all right. So I splashed some purple and I splashed some of that sagey green, and it just made it like come alive a little bit more. So, what you can do the best thing that actually works is a little um, cup or a little Tupperware to, to like really dilute your painting. So I'm just going to dilute this paint and I'm going to show you. So we've got our sage and it's just a little bit of color left there. And I'm grabbing my big brush and I'm adding lots of water. Do you see how much water is in there? Adding so much water to that. Okay, with my big brush. All right, I might even be able, because this is nice and nanny, so I might be able to do like a little bit of a splash without missing. <laughs> okay, so we've got that and you want to make it nice and runny and just go ahead like don't be afraid just splash ahead because remember if you don't like a certain splash you can just paint over it again okay so what you want to do is you want to get close to your um canvas and then hold your fingers down like nearly touching it and just give it a splash okay so these a few splashes going ahead i don't want to mess on this carpet all right so I don't know if you can see much of them, but it is happening here. <laughs> I'll lift it up now. And you might have to grab more. And so if you're outside, you can really go like wild and just splash everywhere. There's quite a nice one. So ta-da-da, ta-da-da. Okay, oh, there's a few. Like it. All right, so check out those splashes. Please go do it. Have a lot of fun with this one. Um, and you can do it in a few colors. I've done mine in sage, and on this one I did it in sage and purple. Um, but, yeah, you can go right ahead, and then lastly, you can grab a lovely color. So, this area is very nice in your bottom right-hand corner. Um, it's nice and white, so you can just sign it with either... I'm, um, I'm going to sign it with the same color as my eye. To pick that up a bit. Oh, I just threw this paint on myself. <laughs> so watch out, the runny paint runs everywhere. Anyway, okay? it's fine. It's 
on it's on my um on the apron it's on the apron oh, okay. actually i was just like oh what did i do all right so you're gonna grab some of that paint that you did the eye with or any color that you really like in your <gasps> actually you know i've just checked it now i think my light purple would look better to sign my name with so i'm going popping back to my light purple if you want to mix that again it is rose blue and lots of white okay even more rose so double rose one blue and lots of white there we go okay a little bit more white and then you can sign your name in the bottom right hand corner okay so you can put your initials if you like um i also dilute this color a little bit because it just tends to sign a, a little bit easier um use your smallest brush for this and i would actually um practice it on a, on like even on your this piece of paper that we were using to work from or yeah whatever you have around you just maybe practice it a bit because i know a lot of people are like oh i messed it up at the end when i signed my name um and that's just so you can see what size you want to sign your name and so on so i'm just gonna say lily okay you can just do your initials or whatever you like but there we go lily and you can even give it another splat on the lion Ladies and gentlemen, well done. I think you can all give yourselves a big, big, big round of applause because you have just painted a lion heart. So, woohoo, well done. Crowd goes wild. You guys are so amazing. Woo. 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 You all have a lion. You all have a lion. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. If you have something that kind of looks like a lion, you've you've made it. <laughs> if it looks like a cat. <laughs> a cat. A fluffy, <laughs> very fluffy. Very fluffy cat. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow, Lily, thank you so much. Mm. Everybody put theirs up. Let's see. Let's yes, see. I'd love let's to see. see. Oh, everyone, please put your cameras on. I haven't been able to finish my eye yet because mine's so wet. Oh my word. I wanna I'm gonna put these I wanna check you all on oh, at the okay, same time. Beautiful. Very, very cool. Amazing. Awesome. Oh, Sam, hey, maybe Wendy. You stop sharing and we can just um, do gallery view and we can just have oh, a that's look. That's true. So if you switch off your, your, your share there. Okay, I'm switching off my share. Give me one moment. Oh, and then we switch to gallery view. And then, yeah, everybody can switch to gallery view. And you'll be able to see everybody's. So in the top right hand corner, there's something that says view. So just click on that button. And then click on gallery view. Oh, okay. Top right hand corner, view. And yeah, then gallery. it says gallery. That's cool. It. Hey, I can it's see cool. everybody. Everybody can put their cameras on. Let's just take a look. Oh, this see. is amazing. Awesome. Ah, oh, Melissa, that's looking great. And like we've got Amy. And Amy, who's with you? My mom, Julie. Julie! Hi, Julie. Yours is also lovely. And there's Anna. Anna, those colors! Oh, wow! Oh, they are amazing. And Wendy, yours looks so fluffy. Like, I just want to hug your lion. <laughs> it's fantastic. And I see the name says Jason, but I have a feeling you you have another name. <laughs> she says yes. Tell us your name. It's Sharon. Sharon. Is it Sharon? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Sharon, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. <gasps> it's your birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon, for um, like doing this with us on your birthday. It's so wonderful. Thank you guys very much. And thanks to my, my husband who organized it for me. Oh, he's amazing. Well, good man. No, good man. Good. Yes. Good man. <gasps> awesome stuff. Oh, and Melissa, and who's next to you, Melissa? 
That's friends of my husband. <laughs> awesome. Well, he's is looking just as fun. I really like the shape of his face. We can all learn from that. I feel like I should change mine a bit now. Yeah. It's looking very good. <laughs> very good. Yeah. yeah. And Kirsten, look at that. That came out so lovely. Are you happy, Kirsten? Beautiful. Thank you. It was so much fun. Oh, I'm happy. And yeah. Susan, that's looking really good. Awesome stuff. I think, um, shall we take a screenshot? Yes. I don't know how to take a screenshot, I but Steve, Steve, can take a screenshot Steve is going to take a screenshot I for us. So if everyone that. can, sorry, just put on your cameras again. <laughs> did, you take a, did you take one, Steve? No, take I'll another one. Right now? Yeah, he's taking a screenshot. So please hold up your lines. You can even hold it like at half of your face. Yes, that's cool. If you like. And yeah, that's looking really cool. And Steve, you are going to count um, us into your screenshot, right? Yes. Mine's oh, we're ready. One, two, three. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome stuff. <laughs> Well done, everyone. Thank you so, so much for spending the afternoon with us. How special. Give yourselves a round of applause. Woo! Woo -hoo! And pats on your partner's back. Yes! <laughs> well done. Uh, well, Lily, can I just ask yeah, you something? Hi, hi. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope everyone has um, a Lily, thanks, Lily. Yes, yes, uh, please. Just one, one question. So, um, if if we have something to seal it, like an acrylic glaze medium, yeah, and um, would you recommend painting it straight on or diluting it, or wait until it's completely dry? Yeah, I would just wait until it's completely dry and not dilute it, and just paint it straight onto it. But wait until it's completely dry because it might smudge some of your mm. your paints. Yeah, and okay, that will cool. really let the colors pop out and let it look like oil oil paint. And then one would, thing would you, that I... Would you go with, yeah? with glaze or matte? You think um, glaze would look better? It would depend what you like. Glaze is more shiny. Um, I'm more of a matte human, but mm. ugh, it's this um the eva. <laughs> like it's, okay. So yeah. um, one thing I would just like to mention to everybody, um, I am going to ask Alex to post my WhatsApp number on the chat. We did this last time. Yes. And you guys, if you have any questions about your painting or are unhappy with something or something's just not working or you just want to say, hey, Lily, look at my painting, that'd be really cool. You can just WhatsApp me a... Um, picture and um yeah and let me know please if you just send me a picture i'm just gonna be like that's beautiful but if you send me a picture and say lily please credit it a little bit is there anything i can change then i can help you out and specifically explain to you on whatsapp which parts you may have to like change a little bit and so on okay so that's me um and then please check me out on my insta page and post a picture of your beautiful lion on your Instagram and give me a tag, give call to care a tag and paint and sip a tag. And um, I'm also going to ask Alex to put down our handles, our Instagram and Facebook handles on the chat That's it. so that you yes. can check it out. Lovely. It's been lovely. Mwah. I love you all. Have a beautiful Sunday. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Stay safe. Happy Sunday. Bye. Yes, bye. 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 Look at Alex's hands. Oh my god.